Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Capsule, whatever. We're playing the Coliseum thing. We are about to fight Duke Devlin. He is a Dark-type user just like us, Yami Yugi. And we are hopefully going to take him down in this voltage cage of his, which, ooh, makes me a little bit scared. Still, Duke Devlin is a pretty cool opponent. He was cool with his Dungeon Dice Monster game, which, even though he created it, he was immediately defeated by uh, Yugi Moto, which... If you create a game, and within like weeks or months of you creating that game, you're already defeated at it, that makes me feel bad. But you know what, if you're the creator, maybe you're not the person that takes it the most serious. Usually it's the fanboys that do. Or fangirls. Yugi, don't forget that I invented Dungeon Dice Monsters, so I'm a game expert myself. Well, I've never seen you qualify in any tournaments. Let's see who's the real king of games. I beat you at your own game. Yeah, okay, let's duel in this completely third-party game. This will be the decider. We're only in Area 1. We still have, like, a couple areas to go through before you can call yourself a champion. Unless you already know that Yugi's guaranteed to win any tournament, so... I mean, might as well take him out early and then call yourself the champion. But then again, you got Seto Kaiba. Do you really want to have to fight Kaiba? Kaiba will destroy you. Oh god, you got an 8. Ah, you dungeon dice monster bastard. Am I going to have to go first? Yeah, I'm going to have to go first. Okay, for once, we're not going to be able to see our opponent's monsters ahead of time. Now, the thing said his attribute was dark, so there is still a chance that uh, I can guess a few of his monsters. Dark monsters are weak to light monsters, which we don't have any light monsters. So, we don't really have an advantage on Duke Devlin here. Uh, we have our level 2 Karibo, I want to use that. It costs the same MP to use a level 2 Karibo, it's just better all in every way. We got Petite Moth from last time. We got our Feral Imps here, I always like to bring our boss monster. So, Feral Imp, are you the one we've been using? No. You're the one we've been using. Oh yeah, you're the one we've been using. You're coming with me. Uh, Kamiko, there's Kami. Fire Reaper, I guess I could bring one just to be safe. Dark doesn't beat fire. Uh, but let me look at more of my monsters before I make a decision. Uh, wind might be a good idea. Just because we don't know what we're uh, what to expect. So, you know what? I'm gonna pick... Is that Kur Yeah, Kurama's back. Alright, I'm gonna let Kurama get... A you know what? No, Kurama takes so much MP. I'm gonna let, uh, Drollbird have a chance. Then I'm going to let... I like Needle Ball, but I don't really care to use one. we got Steel Scorpions. I might be able to give them some time in the sun. Um, Kamikori. You're not terrible. I could use you again. How much experience did you get? Not you. Sorry. You. Okay, you're 38 experience. What about you? 22. I, would li I wouldn't mind using you. A little bit expensive to use you, but I mean... Ah, uh, yeah. It's actually a lot more expensive to use you than I thought. Yeah, you know what? We're going to actually stick to a Fire Reaper. Fire Reaper's cool, you know? And then we can get a Steel Scorpion in here. It'd be great. Uh, Steel Scorpion, why don't you come? And we don't have enough to use Petite Moth, sadly. Which, I don't really need one, but I would prefer to have one. Uh, just in case that beats some of the monsters he has. Because we have nothing to beat him type-wise. Eh, maybe this team will do it. Screw it. Let's just figure, it. Let's just figure things out. So, do we need a Fire Reaper? I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes is a bad idea. I'm gonna go with another Steel Scorpion. Another Karibo, maybe? Throw another Karibo in there. And then a Petite Moth and have six monsters. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna have that. We're gonna hold back on the Fire Reaper. Fire Reaper could be useful next time. I'm just assuming this guy doesn't have any wood monsters. Uh, we're gonna put our guy right about here. And then let's manually place all our pieces. So, Duke's going to be right across from us, I assume. So, Drollbird, what, how do you move? Wow, Drollbird, you move a lot. That's a lot of movement. Okay, I like you, Drollbird. I like you a lot. I'm going to have you attack straight in front since you seem to move really, really far. Uh, you're going to need some support, though. So, Karibo's pretty good when it comes to support. Uh, Karibo, you're going to take the sides. And, uh, I mean, both of you. Even my level 2 is going to take the sides. There you go. Then we got Petite Moth. Petite Moth is kind of lame. Like, it's not very strong, so it's better to keep it in the back. But I'll, I'll keep uh, I'll keep my eye on it. So I can't move there. I could move you here, and then you could start moving too. You know what? I'm going to move you here. Yeah, so you'll stay behind the Droll Bird. Then Petite Moth, you can do... You're kind of weak, so I'll just keep you right here, maybe? 
And then we'll have Steel Scorpion come from uh, come from the other side. Yeah, I mean, he could. Yeah, you know what? No, we'll have him come from this side. So we have Steel Scorpion. We have the Dark Meta Knight, Meta Bat, Meta Person. And then we have, um, let's see. We have freaking, he has Dark, 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 Dark. Oh, God, he has a Lightning. Okay, so his Lightning. What is Lightning Week 2 again? Like, Wind? Crap, what was Thunder Week 2? Was it, was it week to wood? I should have taken a picture. I should have taken a picture of the weaknesses. Alright, I know lightning beats light monsters. We don't have any. And dark beats earth monsters. We don't have any. So I don't, I don't have to worry that much, but still. So he has a Karibo. He has a Karibo. Is your boss monster a Karibo? And a Karibo. So he has three Karibos. And a Steel Scorpion. These monsters are super weak. He summoned them all on the first turn, though, so that's pretty impressive. But, I mean, they're Steel Scorpions and nothing else. They're super weak. Alright, so, Drollbird, I want you out immediately, because you can do things with your with your speed and the ability to run really far. Your attacking emotion is kind of weird, but you can move far, and I like that. Alright, so next, we'll have to summon you. Come on out. Alright, and then, finally, let's start getting out the... Well, I mean, you cost more, don't you? Oh no, you cost the same. Now let's start getting out our Karibos. Obviously, Feral Imp is our boss, but we're going to keep him in the back. And I guess Duke Devlin, really, he's all about weak monsters and movement. So he wants to be able to move them all on the first turn, which it's really he's really lucky that he got the first hey, turn. Capsule monsters is just as fun as dungeon dice monsters. You know, you probably shouldn't say that because then people are going to start buying this game over your game. You know, that's just bad marketing. All right, let's do this. Got Karibo over there. Crap, he's going on the sides. I can't really attack on the sides too well. Steel Scorpion's kind of stuck. That one's stuck behind Karibo. Alright, so I could definitely get my bird over there and get a free attack in already. Problem is, my bird would be in the middle of a freaking war zone and have no way out. So I'm going to still focus on summoning. And I guess I'll have to focus on defense because they're coming to me really quick. Damn, I really wish I got the first turn. That way I could have done things. I could have defended myself better. I could have set up better. Whoever gets the first turn in this game has a huge advantage. Alright, so Duke Devlin already getting me to sweat. So this, this Karibo can move over here. And that would be able to attack all the way over here. So that's not good. It's not good at all. We have our level 2 Karibo. We can move it over here for now. And then wait for the other Karibo to jump down. Then we have our Droll Bird, which I could send it into the Lion's Nest already. This Karibo would be able to do absolutely nothing to it. This Karibo, on the other hand, would hurt it. And this Steel Scorpion would be able to hurt it? Would it? I don't think it would. Alright, so that Steel Scorpion couldn't hurt it. But this one, this one could. This is two spaces away right here. Yeah. Okay, so that's bait. He's trying to bait me. I'm going to have to put my bait right here. Wait. If I put it right here, Karibo's just going to attack it. Damn it. Alright. Uh, let's move Petite Moth over. Petite Moth, you're in danger, so I don't... Well... You know what? No, no, no. Hold up. Hold up. Drollbird, we do need you to move one forward. You might be in danger, but it's okay. You can take a hit. And Petite Moth, move over to here. There you go, guys. Okay, this should be fine now. We're gonna take some hits. It's the first turn advantage. But I think we can figure this out. All of his monsters are actually pretty weak. It's just the fact that they have more movement and easy attacks on us. So yeah, he gets a free attack there. I have to accept that. It does almost half our health, so that means we still we're still healthy. That's our level two Karibo. That's why he couldn't do half our health. He's, his monsters are probably only level one. Ooh, he got two hits on Karibo. Crap! If that wasn't our level two Karibo, he'd be dead. Holy crap! Thank God for you, Karibo. I hope I don't get you killed this early on. You're you're kind of our strength guy. If it wasn't for Feral Imp, you'd be the strongest thing on our field. All right. That's oh, he's going for defense now. And that one's coming for attack. Alright, now that he's put himself in the open, it's time to get aggressive. So, when it comes to getting aggressive, if I move you here, yes, you can attack. So, that means I need to move Karibo. Alright, Karibo, you're going to come over here. No, 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 yeah, 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 that's a good idea, yeah. Alright, you're going to come over here, Karibo. And you're going to attack him from here. Yes. And you do over half his health, luckily, so this will be good. Nice. Get rid of one of you guys. Got one experience for that. 
Uh, you just started the game. Don't talk about running out of options. That'd be kind of pathetic. Uh, Drollbird, you're gonna... Ooh, I forgot. Drollbird's a side attacker. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. But wait, Petite Moth isn't. Petite Moth, get in there. Yeah, Petite Moth can do this. I'm glad I moved you over. Get in there and bite him. Ah, uh, 100, uh, 104 damage. That's pathetic. But hey, at least you know how to bite. All right, 83 damage. Not perfect, not terrible. Yeah, running out of options, huh? Quick to quick to judge. All right, Drollbird, I have an idea for you. Why don't you move over here and get yourself a kill? Kill that freaking Karibo. Yeah, there you go. And Drollbird to the rescue. Nice. Plus, I can move him pretty far up next turn to go for the the, the captain piece. I couldn't afford losing that monster. I know you couldn't, but you put him right in the front line, so that was a terrible idea. All right, you just need to stand here because that's how you get the kill. All right, go ahead and kill that Steel Scorpion. Beautiful, beautiful. So he didn't even get a single kill on his first turn, and we've already gotten two on our on our, our turn. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Uh, let's have you, Karibo, you run all the way over here, get ready to get attacked. But hopefully they attack you rather than your brother, who who already has heavy damage. Feral Imp, it's time to start moving forward. If their Karibo comes after our leader piece, it's going to be fine, because we're going to go right after his. And our monsters were stronger. So come on, bring it, Duke. Come on, Mr. King of Dice Monsters, but not really, because I beat you in that one episode of Yu-Gi-Oh. I gotta hand it to you, Yugi. You're doing pretty good. But that's not gonna last forever. All right, I'll give you one turn to turn this around. Go. Let me see your one turn victory. All right, go, we're going after our healthy Karibo. Doing over half his health. That's a little bit scary. I'll give it to you. That's a little bit scary. Oh, are we about to lose our level? Oh, we're going to lose our level two Karibo. Yeah, that's fine. Level two Karibo did his work. He can't survive every battle. Oh, he didn't. Wow, I thought he was going to go kill him. Oh, I guess that doesn't always happen. That's cool. All right, Feral Imp, it's finally time for you to start doing work. Because this Karibo over here is right in your attack path. But we want to mo more uh, focus more on getting to the enemy's captain piece. So we're going to move you all the way up, Drollbird. You know what? It might be easier to have you attack the Karibo instead. Let's see. One, two, one, two. You know what? No. No, I was right the first time. Let's have you come here. You attack. Get rid of this thing. All right, you're going to need some help getting rid of it. I understand that. Don't worry, we'll have one of your Karibo brethren come up and help you. All right, good, good, good. That's bad. It is bad, because you're in trouble now. All right, level two Karibo, where can I move you? You can come right here. Perfect. Come here and get a kill. Level two Karibo to the rescue. I'm going to call you Kerbo. Kerbo the helpful Karibo. Alright, Kerbo got yet another kill. I wonder how many kills Kerbo's got in. It's only been three episodes, so not too many, but more than more than his brothers. Oh, if I don't do something soon, I may as well pack it in. You got that right. You're in trouble, Duke. Alright, Petite Moth, let's get you moving forward. I'm so happy that Petite Moth isn't just dying, because usually these monsters just die. They have like no health. Alright, 85 isn't the best damage in the world, especially on a Karibo. They're actually pretty tanky. Uh, hopefully my other monsters can make up for it. Feral Imp, you're like our strongest guy. Could you, could you make up for this? Yes, I know I could have attacked that Karibo, but I've kind of, I'm kind of going after the captain piece. I want to get more experience. Damn, even Feral Imp wouldn't be able to kill him? Holy crap, he lives with like no HP. All right, well, if I had to do a different strategy, what if I did this? If I, oh, I should have moved Karibo there. That would have been better. That would have been better. Well, live and learn, guys. Live and learn. We're about to lose a piece. It doesn't... I don't know which one he's going to go after, but we are losing a piece. Uh, Feral Imp, I'm going to have you attack anyway, because I want to get closer to the captain piece that they have. There we go. Come on. Take the damage. There you go. 116. So he lived with 4 HP, that little jerk. That's it's really bad, we know. Now, Steel Scorpion... If this Karibo can move, it would come over here. That's as far as he can go. He's right here. So my captain piece is actually really safe. Like, there's nothing he can do to us. So I'm going to move right here. Right in the safe zone. And then you, just to just to drive the point home, because he can only walk right here, we're going to have you stand here and wait for him. All right, this should be good. Let's see what uh, Duke Devlin does to us now. 
I would love to win this without losing a single piece, but I'm more focused on getting experience. But I would really hate to lose my level 2 Karibos. Petit Moth, if you die, you die. Wow, you're not even going to die. Holy crap, good for... You know what? Clap, clap, clap. Good for you. You're supposed to be super weak. That was a lot of damage, but it survived. Exactly. As long as you live, who cares? Although that other Karibo could just come up and snack us. Yeah, he's stuck there, just like I thought. Alright. You know what? I want to win in this turn, but I have to kill that this thing. And this thing is right in my way. Because I need to move Karibo here to damage this guy. Alright. Alright. You know what? Feral Imp, if you were to move forward, you can attack him. That would be great. That would be super... Oh, but then I wanted to attack with Karibo. You know what? First things first. Let's see how much damage we can do to it. Because we get more experience for attacking the Captain piece and how much health it has. It has a lot of health. Alright, it has 200 health. That's actually less than Karibo. I was expecting more. Still, 93 damage is good. You should get 10 experience for that, which is really good. Then, I can move a different piece up there. Oh no, all of these pieces move forward. Gotcha, gotcha. So if I moved him here, he'd be able to kill it. So maybe it'd be better just to let Petit Moth chill. Petit Moth, why don't you just, why don't you just go chill somewhere? Don't get hurt, just go chill. Alright, now... Now we're going to get moving. Karibo over here, you attack. Get rid of this guy. Yeah, that four health saved him. There you go. Get out of our way. And then Feral Lamp. Oh, no, no, no. You were doing the right thing. I want you to get the attack in for now. And then we'll move that other Karibo forward. Oh, wow, no, that'll just win us the battle. Okay, never mind. You're really strong, Feral Imp. I should have known. Before I do that, we might as well let Steel Scorpion get a hit in. That way he gets some free experience. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Go to attack. There you go. There you go, Steel Scorpion. That's how you get the butter. All right, and it does more than half. Nice. Nice job. So we won this duel, and we're getting maximum experience for it. But since I didn't kill that specific Karibo, that means we cannot take that specific Karibo from him. Which I don't even want it because we already have so many Karibos as is. But if you didn't pick the dark deck, I'm assuming you'd want these Karibos because they're pretty useful. They cost barely anything and they have a lot of HP. Alright, yep, we're destroying the symbol. This will ah, he said the line, this will finish you, that means we won the duel. Sorry, Duke, you shouldn't have brought Karibo as a boss monster. Not a great idea, buddy. Not a great idea. Not a bad, bad monster, just it's it's an economical monster, not a strong monster. Still, Duke, out of all the people we fought so far, even Joey was tougher than you. I didn't lose a single piece to you. Alright, so let's see what we get. I'm, I'm probably just going to take a Steel Scorpion and a Karibo from him. Yugi. You really are the king of demons. Thanks, Duke. Why do you wear a dice earring? You're not too bad yourself. We know you that you created the game. I lost, but I don't regret a thing because I dueled my best. That was your best? Yugi, keep at it and win the tournament. Oh hell yeah, we're gonna win the tournament, but we don't need your encouragement to make that to make that happen. Alright, a hundred experience for destroying the thing. That's a free level up. Holy crap, it's way worth it to do it. Feral Limp is is moving up in the world. Plus, that extra experience carries over to the next level, so you don't even have to worry about wasting experience. Heck yeah. Ooh, I wonder what kind of symbol bonus we're going to get. 33, special bonus. Nice. 24, ooh, that's more than normal. Petite Moth is even getting a boost. They're all getting a boost. No one's leveling up just yet, but Feral Limp's almost level 3 after that. Holy crap. Alright, so we could take two of his monsters. Who here got an attack on me? That one. Uh, that one. They both did. Wow. Uh, that one. That one. Okay, they all got one attack off on me, so I'll take one of you and one of you. Thank you. I don't really even need them. I probably won't ever use them, but I still appreciate them. So thank you for your monsters, Duke. I guess we will save the game since I have a rotating save slot kind of thing. Oh, I only have three save slots? Okay, we'll, we'll delete the first one. Well, not my save data. I don't want to delete my old save data from way back when. I, I don't know. That would just make me sad. Oh, I have to press right. Eh, who cares? I can just use the same two. But yeah, that'll be it, guys. Now that we've done that, let's see who our next opponent is going to be for next time. 
pretty exciting we're we're getting past all these loser lame monsters we should be moving on to stronger monsters now because now that we're getting to the end of area one there's only two enemies left the normal enemy and then like a boss like enemy of area one which should be a good one should definitely be a good one our next opponent will be Taya gardener the water type user which is good we actually have wind monsters we can beat water so that's interesting Taya. you're you're in this tournament too and you're actually pretty high up on the area one well, next time we'll be taking her down. Bye-bye, everybody.